Hi, Jimmy Song here, uh, off chain. Uh, I have another question. This one's from Lauren Simon. How does batch transactions work? Um, um, there's actually a really good article by David Harding on this, but I'll try to explain it in this video. Um, think about all the different transactions there are. Um, if, you, if you have a transaction that uh, is kind of typical, you have one uh, one person sending to another, something like that, A sends to B. Uh, what batching a transaction is, uh, say you're like an exchange or something and you need to pay out B, C, D, E, F, and G. Um, previously, what they were doing was having one transaction that sends from A to B, another transaction that goes from A to C, another one A to D, A to E, and so on. That would be like six different transactions and you have to incur the overhead of transaction construction for each single one. Transaction batching is basically saying, all right, instead of six different transactions, let's just make one with six different outputs. Um, I have one input and six different outputs. That way I don't have to incur all of the penalties of creating um, you know, a transaction each time. And uh, surprisingly, there were a lot of companies that weren't doing this. And around December, uh, you know, when the fees were getting much higher, they, uh, they were kind of forced to upgrade. Uh, you got to remember, a lot of companies don't like to upgrade their code, especially because you know, their code is fragile or they've been fighting fires and stuff like that. If, if you're somebody like Coinbase that's getting tons of new users all the time, then it's going to be especially difficult for you to uh, to figure out how to uh, do this in an efficient manner. So, hopefully, that answers that question about like what it is uh, that they were doing, um, and that saved a lot of blockchain space. And obviously, it's ended up uh, making Bitcoin uh, a lot cheaper because uh, a lot of space was saved. You got to remember, like 80, 90 percent of transactions on the blockchain are actually from big companies like Coinbase, Gemini, and Zappo, and all of those guys. Um, and, and when they've all implemented it, it makes it all better. All right.